And welcome to our final session, Part B, Learning Reports at www.learnquickbooksfree.com. So, under Vendor and Payables, you can pull up reports uh, showing uh, information on what the company owes. So, if we do an AP Aging Summary, it's going to basically show you that you now owe $350 to vendor one, $35 to vendor two. You're current, which means that you're not past due. So this is a report that kind of shows you, you know what, I'm 30 to 160 days past due on this vendor and it kind of just gives you an idea of, you know, the money that you owe and once again, every report you can kind of double click on everything and, you know, look at more details. So that's one part of that report. Uh, then you can go detailed if you want just gives you a little bit more details and um, then there's other reports but this is really the main two uh, that you're gonna use uh, you can do graphs but um, you know that, that may not be so much help for you I mean maybe maybe not it's it's it really depends on how detailed you want to get I don't I don't really use this graph myself I just uh, personally use uh, these first two and really most more than anything I just use AP aging summary and um, I keep it simple like that another report that you can pull up is under sales so let's do sales by customer summary and so if you want to know uh, just how much income you've brought in for a certain day a week a month so if you do like weekly sales report uh, you could do something where it starts on a Monday ends on a uh, Sunday right here and then you do refresh and as you can see once you refresh it it's going to show you as you can see I can also play with it align it and it's going to show you all the sales that you did for this date range and like all reports you can print it email it export it uh, they're pretty much all roughly the same when it comes to that so sales is basically the income that you've brought in uh, it does say by customer so you get to take a look at customers over here and then there you go you can play around with a different different types of report there's item summary item detail graphs so go ahead and play with it but the main one that I use is sales by customer summary uh, for when I uh, do this and uh, we can look under banking under banking uh, you can look at previous reconciliations uh, discrepancies if you reconciled a certain month and then you deleted a transaction within that reconciliation well reconciliation discrepancy is going to right now is zero because we haven't had any uh, issues but let me show you how this works if we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see what we reconcile we reconciled um, so let's go over here to list chart of accounts we're going to go to checking and we're going to double click on that and let me go ahead and delete you see this check mark that means it's been reconciled okay so let's go ahead and uh, delete this one right over here let's delete the opening balance that we did and we're going to go ahead and delete journal general journal and I'm going to hit record or actually just X out of there so now if we go to reports and we go ahead and go to banking reconciliation discrepancies well actually it's not showing up yet so let's do the let's go to banking we're gonna go to reconcile and if we go over here we will see that the beginning balance is different than what it shows so this is where we could uh, locate the discrepancies and there you go um, you actually got to pick the, 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 the exact account but as you can see it tells you over here that it's been deleted and that's why your books are off okay so anytime you delete something by accident and when you go to reconcile the next month and the beginning balance doesn't match the ending balance from the previous month then that means that you must have done something by accident and this is how you locate the accident. It's, you go under discrepancy report.
okay? And uh, you have different kind of reports, list report, accounting list, item list, payroll list. There's so many different types of reports that you can pull up. But basically over here, as you will see, um, you know, it's going to pull up some information that you may be looking for. Once again, this is where I would just play with some of these reports. I don't really use list that much either, so uh, you may not uh, have to worry about that so much. But, um, you know, go ahead and play with it and, uh, you know, figure out which report actually brings value and which one doesn't. So that really concludes uh, the report section. You know, keep in mind this is all the basic stuff. Uh, for basic business, yes, there's a lot more that you can do with QuickBooks, uh, but I'm just trying to show you the basics uh, for someone who hasn't learned this yet. Uh, I don't want to overwhelm you with uh, too much information, so I'm showing you what is the most commonly used features in QuickBooks. Okay? Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this section as well, and uh, look out for other helpful tips and tricks uh, in other sections down the line and uh, we'll be revisiting more stuff later on. So thank you with, once again. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.